I'm Pascal Lecoq, I'm the painter of blue, and you're watching Aquaparel TV. My first character with the divers was from a set design I made for Opera House. So it's a crazy story, no? I was working for the opera by Richard Weiner, The Flying Dutchman, and I put a curtain on the stage with people on the side to move the, the, the curtain, to make the sea on the stage. And uh, during the afternoon, uh, the musician came for rehearsal, and they are in the pit, so under the stage. And when I saw them going with the instrument and everything, I said, oh, they are going to drone underwater. And that gave me the idea to make two divers, with uh, one a violin, and the second one with a big instrument, with the tuba. And in French, tuba is the same word as uh, the snorkel. So you see, uh, in my painting, I always uh, mix words and play on words, pun. So that, that was my first one with two, two divers in the painting. And uh, I made the second painting like this, and I love the character. I was not a diver at this time. I'm not, I'm not a diver, too, because um, I try, but I have to big trouble with my ears. So there's no way I, will, I can go underwater. So I'm a surrealist painter, and that was my, uh, my way to dive, by the way, because I know so many divers, uh, so many, I saw so many pictures, stories. Your artwork is very unique and tells a story. Where do these stories come from, and what is the message behind the story? Okay, so as I told you about the, the first uh, painting with divers, just a situation, a sign, a word, a music, gave me I, uh, an idea for a painting. Also, I try to put different layers of meaning inside the painting, because uh, art is also a, uh, a way to communicate with people. Okay, it's not only me doing something, it's good for me to do it, but uh, it's good also that uh, viewers can see it and appreciate it. With this painting of imagination, you have your own imagination. It's very narrative. So it's a story in each painting, not only the one I'm, I want to put inside, but the, the one you can, uh, you can imagine, you know? And I like to talk with people like you because they said, oh, this reminds me something, oh, that means something. Not, not really. If you see um, my crime scene here, many people uh, lo look at it and they say, oh, it's uh, the crime scene underwater, so it's uh, kind of fun. If you look closely, you can see that it's a shark here and is the, the wounds are from the, the fins. So it's against the, the finning. And uh, I put the label, the, you know, the crime scene uh, yellow tape with uh, some words on it, crime against humanity. So you see there is different layers of, uh, of meaning. So of course I'm very concerned with uh, the environmental um, trouble today. So I try to put a few, few things like this in my painting. It's sometimes funny at the first glance, but if you go deeper, you can see more, uh, more uh, meanings inside. Where does the inspiration for painting sharks come from? Good question. You know, as I'm not a diver, I've never been in, in the water with uh, those big animals. But the first one, the first sharks I saw that was in an aquarium. So, okay, we can talk about aquarium and things like this. But it's also a good way to show people, to educate people with some creatures they are not going to see, you know, anymore. So, um, I think in the 1990s, I was invited in a marine center in France to make an exhibition. And there was a big aquarium with some sharks, and sand sharks, and nurse sharks. And uh, you, you, you can get very close, behind the glass, of course, but you are very close. And it's an, uh, that gave me ideas, for example, for this painting here, uh, about um, you know, the skin of the, the shark. It was like silver or chrome. So I got this idea to make a, a, a big uh, bike and, um, with, with the chrome. And the, the shark was also very chrome um, uh, patina. Uh, when I was closer like this, 
I saw them moving very slowly, but uh, you, you can see on, on the skin that there is a lot of muscle inside. And they, they were very quiet, very calm, but very strong inside. I, I, I love the, the, the feeling. They were not, uh, um, uh, what, how you say, uh, um, acting like a strong thing, aggressive, not aggressive, very quiet, but you, you feel the power, you see? And it's a good thing. You see the power, but they are very quiet and, and calm. And uh, that should be how we, we live, you know? We are, everybody is powerful. Humans are powerful, of course. But we need to, to be calm, you know, to, 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 to live with uh, each other and everything like this. So if you, you are not uh, aggressive with the sharks, they are not aggressive with you. And also the, the shape of the, sh the shark, it's, it's a masterpiece of the creation, by the way, you know. <laughs> we can do better than this. You know, the, the, the shape is perfect. It's why I like to, to put them, mo mostly of them, you know, here. You know? Yes, it's my favorite creature, of course.